we're getting close to putting the roof on. Right now, as it's standing, I've got maybe two saplings to run across the top to help tighten that up, and we're throwing a lid on it today. Oh, someone was asking me about, um, they haven't seen any of my crafts. Well, when I was inside, I managed to make a pair of porcupine quill earrings, and I dyed these with turmeric, the spice, and it has a Norwegian stone larvacite, and, um, it's a bushcraft. And then I had this fox fur, put that on a wool hat that I already had. So that's what I've been doing inside. All right, I've got one more beam up right across the top and one more to go. I just laid this, this sapling in along the arches and it's winter now and the wood doesn't want to bend at all so this is what i've been doing to get arches in the wood when i needed it i've just been notching them out and then making cuts along the length to let it compress so it doesn't snap and break all right we just laid in the last piece it's time to cover it up our base layer on the roof is going to be these two plastic drop cloths We just put up one of the sheets, check it out. It's long enough that it fits lengthwise from the base all the way, all the way over. So we've got a roof and two walls out of one of those sheets. We've got both of the drop cloths up over the top and we got a canvas drop sheet that's the white tarp there and then just a, a canvas tarp I took that one to the Pathfinder school actually those two drop cloths cover the whole structure the main portion of the roof all the way over the back end here we still got some some space to cover in over here and around the door but pretty cool so we're about halfway through December and we finally got some snow in good old Northwest Pennsylvania we're out on a hike and we we're just walking by our longhouse we thought we'd give you guys an update check this guy out we, we covered it over about a week ago and it's rained and now we've got snow and everything's holding up so far so good. Welcome to the big igloo. AKA the pickle house. Cause you know, it looks like a pickle. It's shedding water. Uh, I mean, there's snow frozen up on top today, but not too bad. We're stoked that we've gotten this far with it. Absolutely the wrong time of year to build a structure like this. Uh, That's what you voted for, so you got it though. <laughs> the roof is holding up well. There doesn't seem to be any low spots that are holding water. There was, there was two. Um, about five days ago, I came up after it had rained and there was pools of water in a couple of these spots. And I just, you know, laid in, laid in a branch across and raised it up real low tech, real simple. But we're at where we're at today is looking at the stove and the location. All of the wind has been coming from this side and then blowing down across the shelter. And with the stove there, we don't have the pipe hooked up or anything. We're thinking we could move it down to this other end where the door is and it might work out a little bit better with the ventilation and whatnot. Which also brings us to uh, the plastic itself we don't want to heat up the plastic and release a bunch of toxic fumes so we're just kind of looking at it the plastic is a short-term solution to get us through the winter and protect the structure and our original intent has always been to use natural materials as they become available which means springtime 
So we got a roof on it for now. We're pretty pumped. We haven't even got to camp out in it yet. We've been super busy with everything. But yeah, our longhouse is, it's up and it's covered and stoked. This is going to be an evolving, an evolving thing. So we'll do updates on it and, you know, keep you guys in the loop about what we got going on up here. So thank you guys for watching. We'll be back with more updates on this as they come. And we'll see you later.